go too low because then you lose your borders and stuff like that. So yeah, I-60 is good. Go with that. Alrighty, so our layout is pretty much done right now. Um, I'm not liking the gray up here though, so we'll, we'll go with uh Let's see if we can play it around. Different gray. Too light, too dark. Blue's no good. Actually, yeah, we'll leave with that gray. So okay, we click OK, there is our layout. And now we want to save for Webit. And this is a pretty pretty easy concept that we're gonna do here. So first facts we want to save our layout just in case the power goes out or something random. So we'll save this one as a tutorial layout. And go to after we save it, go to save for web and devices. This is this is how I find to get the best quality out of your image, and it tells you the size of your quality right here. here let's get this in the middle here. As you see, it says 290. We want to be below 256. So we just drag this down, and as you see, it just dropped to 255, and that's perfect. And that's at 84% quality. And as you see, if you get lower on the quality, the image starts turning to crud. So you can drag it around and see all this. So we want to get this back up to, what was it, I think it was 86? Or was it 85? Was it now? Uh, there we... wait, was it 84? Yeah, it was 84. Okay, there we go. So now we want to save it. And we'll go to uh, tutorial layout. And you save that tutorial layout. There you go, bada boom, bada bing. Save. Okay, so now we want to go back to YouTube. And we want to go to themes and colors, browse, find your layout, which is right here for me tutorial layout upload that and it's pretty sweet how YouTube has it set up for the beta channels now that you can actually view it while you're like adding the colors and all that fun stuff to it so for this uh, we want to make the background black so it makes it black down here at the bottom so it all goes in together and then for this part we can actually change this opacity to 100% Wait, no, not that one. This one, 100%. So we get to see the corners and stuff like that. And as you see, that works out pretty pretty decently. Everything's coming together. As you see, the border goes around the player and all that stuff goes around there, up here. You can also change this opacity to 100% too. So you get to see the whole general layout. Well, we can go with, uh, let's see, 50%. And sometimes uh, on, on YouTube, your sides will change. As you see, this side is lower than this side now. So sometimes it's just good to leave it at none. Or 100%. So you get to see all that stuff. So now we want to add our colors, um, wrapper color, which is going to be this right here. We'll make that a black, or yeah, black looks good. Wrapper text color, we can turn that into, there is some blues on the layout, so you can use a blue. You can also go back to your Photoshop and find colors from it by using, clicking on your palette there and clicking around for colors. So we'll see what that color looks like on black. see that actually it flows pretty decently so we have the black over here too but we want to change the title text color oh wait that's the different one 
we want to go to background color and then change this one to you can even go with black or whatever colors you feel like using it's pretty much totally up to you uh, body text color gray, gray does look good with this layout because you see there is a lot of grays and you can also go with a lighter color though use some colors from here pretty much just click around and play around the colors until you find a color that you really enjoy using See that's not that's not a bad layout. Um, I did this from scratch, and it took me. I guess I won't know until I finish recording here. Um, yeah. So you, once you finish, you save changes, and there you go. You got your own YouTube background. You can also add more spice to your background. Um, below this background layer, you can make a new layer and add some brushes if you want. Like you can go around. If you have a lot of brushes, if not, I suggest going to Google and finding brushes. There's thousands of uh, results for that. So like, you can even add more brushes if you want, sticking around or whatever you want. You pretty much just go with the flow. This is uh, pretty much just teaching you how to do it and now you can go and make your own layouts. And if not, if you don't want to, you can always stop on my website which is YT Layouts. Dot net. It's dot net, not dot com or dot info. I know some noob got a dot info domain and thinking you can compete with the master. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is pretty much how, how you guys do your layout. And uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. Uh, I will be launching another tutorial for people that are having problems adding just the free layouts from my website uh, onto their YouTube. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you were looking to make your own layout but didn't know how, uh, now, now you can and there will be a template for available for download. It will be this template here but it won't have the background, I'll be removing all this, might as well do it now. It will just come with pretty much this, you're going to get this and you just slap your background on and add all the extra stuff you want to add. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for many more uh, complex tutorials. I finally got a mic back now and uh, I plan on making, uh, redoing all my other tutorials with voiceovers. So stay tuned for all that and uh, yeah guys, thanks for uh, checking out my videos and make sure to subscribe and rate 5 stars man. It, it helps a lot. Take care. Bye.